different tools are going to give you different results, honey. Okay, but if these are the results that you are looking for, we're going to get into it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I took a little bit of a break last week, but your girl is back. I'm very excited today because we are getting into styling brushes. In particular, we are going to be talking in detail about this Felicia Leatherwood brush. You guys know I have been finger style gang for the longest time, but I have officially joined the brush style gang. <laughs> I have to say, I think it's official. I don't know if it's now because my hair is longer. I just find I get the absolute best, most beautiful results when I use brushes, certain brushes though, because y'all know I've had a very complicated time with the Denman and me and the Denman just don't work. We can't work together. We're gonna go ahead and compare it to the wet brush. If you actually have not seen my last video where I did my updated wash and go and showcased the wet brush, Maybe you might want to go back and watch that first so that when I'm comparing this to the wet brush You can kind of like understand and like see for yourself because I'm actually gonna show you the brush in action All the things okay, so let's just go ahead and get started Okay, so the original detangler brush and the reason why I'm saying original is because there are so many knockoffs to this brush Okay, we all know this fancy mechanism it separates while you comb out your hair with it but there are again so many knockoffs so first and foremost this is the original detangler brush by felicia leatherwood so this right here is how you will know if you have a real and authentic felicia leatherwood brush it literally says felicia leatherwood on it and then on the back get this boom brush with the best okay this mechanism is meant to be really good and help the brush to just glide through and help you get rid of those knots in half the time they do come in a bunch of different colors I think I've seen like yellow I've seen pink I've seen black this is my favorite this is the turquoise I just think it's beautiful it's just a really pretty color my personal preference I also like the fact that the handle here it's not fully straight it has like little curves that feel like it's specifically designed to fit better and feel a little bit more comfortable in your hand. So yeah, those are basically the specific features of this brush. It's fairly simple. I also really like the size of it. I just think it is absolutely perfect. Not too big, not too small. I also am really liking the rectangular shape. So the wet brush that I did use in my updated wash and go video, that has more of like a round oval shape. I don't even know where that brush is anymore because as soon as I started using this, like, this, this is it, this is it, okay, spoiler alert, I love this brush. So let me actually show you this brush in action. This is me yesterday styling this exact wash and go. So as you probably know, I have been going in with straight water for my moisture products when I style my wash and goes, and then I'll go in with a gel to seal it all in. Very, very simple, two products, water and gel. But one of the reasons I've really been loving using brushes to style in the first place is the fact that the brush helps to actually force water into my hair shaft. As you can see here, when I'm spraying the water, it's kind of just sitting on top of my strands. Like you can literally see the bubbles of water on top of my strands. Even when I go in and try and smooth it down with my fingers, you can see a little bit of the moisture got in, but when you're looking at my hair strands, it just doesn't look juicy. It looks a little wet, but it doesn't look juicy like the water's actually inside. So then once I actually glide through with the brush, you can you can see a massive difference, okay? It's juicy, girls. The moisture has been received 100%, you know what I mean? So that's one of the things that I love about brush styling in general. I just feel like it's the best way to get that moisture into your hair strand before we even slap this gel on top the curls are curling they're doing what they need to do and now this is where I find a slight difference from the wet brush I feel like the wet brush is a little bit more smoothing and it stretches my curls a little bit more this brush actually encourages more curl definition in my opinion that's the main difference that I've noticed between these two brushes that I just the curl definition with this brush is popping. So my hair is long, it does get knotted kind of easy throughout the process. As much detangling as I've done with my conditioner, my shampoo, and my deep conditioner before this, I still end up with a couple of knots when I am styling. So this brush is actually great because it is technically a detangler brush. So it really helps to kind of just guide those knots right out of your hair. And it's just, it's a very flexible brush. With that flexible mechanism I showed you guys, it just, 
it gets the knots out real, real quick. And I will say, again, in comparison with the wet brush, it deals with knots way quicker for my type of like super curly curls it deals with the knots like quick like that boom you got a knot brush it a couple times and it's gone with the wet brush sometimes i don't know the knots would get a little crazy and then i would have to stop and try and like smooth out the knot myself so not only is this great for styling but it's like styling and detangling at the same time and you know what the reason why i think it's so boss at dealing with knots is because of the bristles so it has flexibility this way but the individual bristles are not super like loose or wavy they are stiff and they're staying in place so they are there to take care of those knots the wet brush actually has bristles that are very very flexible so that's why i felt like sometimes when i had like bigger knots it wasn't really that great at detangling them this bad boy gets through any knot any knot you need it is gonna get through it because these are like they don't move you know what i mean i also love the density of the bristles let's get a little close up here it's not as packed close together as the Denman, but it's also not super spaced out to where it's not effective, you know what I mean? It's literally perfection, honestly. The more I'm examining this like up close, I'm just like, dang, this is actual like perfection in a brush. Y'all, my curls, my curls have been so popping. So that was my wash from yesterday, and this is where we are today. The definition hasn't gone anywhere. And I know you guys are gonna ask, the gel that I did use, if you're an OG, I'm gonna give you three seconds to tell me what gel I used, okay? Because there's one gel in particular, black owned, female owned, that that's my go-to gel. Bomb ass bro, hair defining jelly. I knew you guys were gonna ask, so that is the gel that I used. Another thing that I actually really like about this brush is the fact that it's easy to clean as well. So because of the way that this flexible mechanism works, it also helps, you know, you can pour in water from the back and kind of pull your hair out that way. I'm not gonna show you a clip of me doing it myself because who wants to see wet hair just coming off a brush? It's not cute. But you can kind of imagine like, it's very, very, very easy to clean because it has these holes in the back. Most brushes in the back are just flat. So you kind of gotta like, take a comb and like dig through it to get all the hair off but no like this this is gonna stay nice and clean that is very satisfying for me i love that so at this point i have been using this brush on a consistent basis to style my wash and goes for about at least a month now and i am obsessed okay okay then when it comes to brushes I've learned from the Denman brush, you can't just use it once and say, boom, this is a good brush. You have to continue using it on a consistent basis. Make sure that it's something that your curls will like in the long run because the Denman tried to trick me the first time I used it, but with consistent use, the bristles were just too dense. It was way, way, way too dense and it was just too much. It was just too, too, too much for my hair and it would drag all the water from my roots all the way to my end. So I ended up with puffy roots. Oh my gosh, I did. I actually did an entire video about the Denman brush and the struggles I had. So I'll link that up here and in the description box below for you guys to check out. But this, on a consistent basis, passed all the tests. And honestly, I will have to say, like the reason why I'm doing this review in the first place is because I've been literally so happy with it. And I just had to share with you guys because it is, it is game changer, okay? You see these day two curls? And I'm just patiently waiting. I'm patiently waiting for the volume to come. Because it's summer, I do put a little bit of additional, <laughs> a lot of bit of additional gel just because the summer has been trying to play me. So instead of me actually fluffing it out, I'm just gonna walk outside and it'll fluff out on its own and it'll be perfect. <laughs> I honestly feel like every naturalista needs this brush, period. There, I said it. So it does retail for $17.99. I do believe that they have sales every once in a while on certain colors on their page. You can get it directly from Brush With The Best or you can get it from Amazon, I believe. I'ma just provide all the links for you guys below. If you are gonna go ahead and purchase the brush, please let me know, please tag me. I love to see y'all getting excited and finding things that work for your curls. I know what it's like. Y'all see me acting crazy over a brush. <laughs> but it has given me, it's made my washing goes easier, honestly. Like I don't have to stress, I don't have to worry. I know every single time I will get this level of results for my washing go every single time. This is not just a one-off, ooh, this is a good hair day. No, we get good hair days every single wash and go. That's what we strive for and 
this is it. Cheers! That is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun filming this. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!